Are you worried that the crisis in Italy will actually see the EU wanting to make the UK even more of a lesson on the perils of leaving? Well, I think there's no doubt that one of the motivations for the EU in these negotiations is, as they have said repeatedly and publicly, uh, the UK can't possibly have a better deal or as good a deal outside the European Union as we have had inside. So it, it complicates matters, but I think we in the UK need to concentrate on the task in hand because time is running out. And here we are nearly two years on from the referendum. And the cabinet is still arguing about what kind of customs and therefore trade arrangements it wants to have with our biggest, nearest and most important trading partner. And that is, by any stretch of the imagination, not a good place to be in. OK, what are the chances of fresh elections, Hillary Benn? I don't know. That's a, a matter for the Italian political system. Uh, they will have to decide. Um, I, and I don't, sorry, I don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, Mr. Ben, I was talking actually about the UK. What, you know, is there a chance? Oh, about the UK, that, uh, about a, you know, they, a, a, right? The UK. I wasn't going to ask about Italy. That'd be quite wild. <laughs> no, fine. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be an election in the near future. I mean, the the moment of truth will come in the autumn, when Parliament is asked to decide to vote on the withdrawal agreement. And at the moment. Look, I think one thing has become clear. While the prime minister is trying to get her um, disputatious cabinet ministers to agree on a single policy, what is very evident is that even if either of the two customs options, the maximum facilitation or the uh, customs partnership, were able to be put in a form that it might work, and even if the European Union 27 were prepared to agree to one or other of them, it's quite clear now that they, neither of them will be ready by the time the transition period ends in December 2020. And that's why in our most recent Select Committee report, we said in those circumstances, the only viable option would be for Britain to continue to remain in a customs union for the time being. And I think that's becoming increasingly clear, because we are running out of time and the government hasn't yet adopted a policy.